from Life in Layouts, and today I have Stretch the Sketch. I'm so excited about this stretch because I have seen this type of sketch before and I wanted to incorporate it and I love, love, love the way that this comes out. So I am going to be using the Imagine That collection from Echo Park and this is the boy collection. I'm going to be following this sketch really closely. So I'm kind of looking around and seeing what photos that I can use. I do have kind of a couple photos that are uh, similar and I do decide to go ahead and eliminate one of them. What I'm going to do, and this is the probably the hardest thing that I've ever done is one, because I can't use my trimmer because when you cut on a diagonal, it doesn't really work for your trimmer. So I had to actually get my T-square ruler out and cut this by hand, which I hate doing, but I do end up making it work. So what I decided to do is I'm going to stretch this and I'm going to move this piece here that has all of the words on it over so that it overlaps both the pieces. And then I'm going to line up the second piece of paper so that I can continue that diagonal. So it does take a little bit of finessing to make sure that I get it in the right place and then I go ahead and use my pencil to cut the rest of it. I also go ahead and cut out some of the paper that is behind that the top piece just because I didn't feel like I wanted to waste it because it's such a beautiful piece of paper. So you can see here where I'm trying to line it up again using my trimmer, I'm able to cut off some of it so I can save it for another layout. I do pull out this um, memory makers tool. I've had this for, in my stash for a while and it's one of those things that I tend to forget to use and then when I do use it, I love the way that it looks. So because I did use a pair of scissors to cut this, um, I knew that I wasn't going to cut it straight because I cannot cut a straight line. And so I felt like if I use this memory maker tool and rough up the edges, then maybe it'll look like it was supposed to do that. So on the left hand side, this was a lot easier because this piece didn't go across both pages. And so what I decided to do was just cut another diagonal. And you can see there where I'm kind of lining it up and with my T-square ruler and figuring out what I want to do. I did make the pencil marks on the back of the paper that way if um, I didn't cut them out properly, you still wouldn't see them and I wouldn't have to erase them. I also used my memory makers tool on the red paper too as well to kind of rough it up. I do have to paper piece this plaid piece of paper together, but it's okay because it does end up being covered with the photos. I first thought I could just uh, cover up that top piece with a photo, but I just didn't like the way that that placement lined up. So what I ended up doing was lining up the pattern paper and kind of making it work that way. And then I did want it to go all the way to the top because I wanted to leave that little space. So you can see there that I lined it up and I do end up covering it up with the photos, the, the seam up with the photos, but the plaid piece does go all the way up to the blue navy paper. So of course I forgot in which order I was going to put the photos. Even if I did remember, I probably would have changed them up anyways. I did decide to go ahead and just use some of the six by six paper pad that I also own to mount all of the photos. And I thought it would just be easier if I mounted to them all in different colors. That way it brings in all of the colors from the navy paper, but I also didn't have to worry about making sure I had enough paper. I did want to use that photo of Adam uh, to overlap the photo underneath it because there was another family in that photo below. And while she does show up on the left-hand side of the layout, I was trying to you know, cover her up as much as possible so that um, you know people would know that she wasn't a part of our group. I did go ahead and pull out my new stitching template and I will link it below if you would like to pick this up. It's a full 12 by 12. A stitching template and I made a border all the way around my layout. After I stitched it all I thought that I probably should have left the center pieces open and gone around that way but it still looks good to me and I like the way that it looks and I wasn't going to redo any of this layout. Now I'm going to pull out the embellishment pieces that go with this kit as well. 
I thought I was going to be using that big piece there on the left that says everything that is real was once imagined, but it doesn't end up making it to the final layout. And I do use that imagination banner in the upper left hand side because if anyone has ever done pen art and this is usually usually have like a little tiny rectangle and you can like make faces and hands and things like that well this was a huge board and the boys just loved like making their own faces and and then you could see it on the other side so they would make their face and then they would run around and see what it looked like on the other side so using um, their imagination to come up with all kinds of different shapes and things like that uh, for this pen art so once I removed that tag, I went ahead and added a little robot and a little banner that says the word go. And then I thought this guy was super cute, little superhero flying. It has nothing to do with my layout, but I thought it was cute. And so I added that to the top of the photos on the right hand side. I also added a sticker that has a bunch of books on it, which I thought was pretty cool as well. And then on the far left hand side in that cluster down there at the bottom, went ahead and added a acetate arrow as well as a sticker that says boys will be boys in my upper left hand corner i went ahead and added a airplane and some of the brads that came with it as well as an orange arrow now whenever i put brads in i do go ahead and back them with washi tape just so they don't get stuck while i put them in the page protectors now i did pull out from my collection this white puppy stickers to spell out the word art and then from the simple stories color vibe collection I went ahead and pull out these flat stickers and use that to spell pen so my title is going to be pen art and once I get all of these blue flat stickers down that will be it for my layout so here is the final layout as well as some close-ups I want to encourage you guys to go check out all of the ladies and how they stretch this sketch. This is one of those sketches that I can't wait to see what everyone else does for the stretch because I think it can come up with so many different ways. All of the ladies links will be below so make sure you go and check those out. All right everyone if you enjoyed this video if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you want to see more double page layout inspiration, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.